Okay, before us is a 300. This is a second engine from Leroy's collection that he sent me to work on. Um, and this one is really fascinating. Um, the 300, which you've seen me uh, talk about numerous times, uh, came over from O scale and it was, um, you know, simple, had the reverse unit in the shell, had four piece, uh, they called it the four piece cast uh, boiler with uh, separate boiler front, cr uh, cross head and uh, cow catcher assembly. And um, that lasted through 47 and then the 300 went away. In 1952, uh, they brought it back. Um, and when it came back, uh, they called it a Type 4, and it had a cast, die cast frame or, or boiler shell, um, but all one piece. Then, for some reason, in the middle of '52, they switched to plastic. And so that's what this is. Um, Leroy said he his parents got it for him brand new, and uh, it's pretty neat to see reversing locking lever coming up through a plastic shell. I've never seen that before on uh, an Atlantic, so pretty cool. It's noteworthy. It's got link coupler at the back, center or tin uh, side frames, um, and then plastic, plastic shell uh, for the tender. Um, so interesting stuff. It's got two um, port jack panel here on the back. So kind of what we're used to. Um, and like I said, reversing unit in the engine shell or uh, in above the drivers. Um, it's a little bit sticky. Um, I can get it to reverse if I mess with it enough. I'm not going to do it right now. Um, the engine uh, sounds like it needs a little bit of lubrication. Obviously, the reverse unit uh, needs some cleaning. Um, but uh, pretty cool. Uh, never seen one of these before. So I uh, thought I would share a little bit about that. I think uh, the rest of this will be kind of standard fare in terms of what you've all come to know and love about what happens here on this channel um, but uh, go ahead and take this uh, engine apart and uh, go ahead and and get some cleaning done on the reverse unit Looks like 53 though. Does look like 53. Well, interesting. So could this have been a late 52 that they didn't put together to 53? I mean, that definitely says April 53. Wow. Okay. Oh, now this is interesting. The brush plate assembly um or holder on this is got the marbled plastic which i thought that was 53 uh korean war time that they they had that happen with some of their plastics isn't that fascinating so doyle says these were only made 
and 52, but yet here we have evidence. <laughs> yep, it's a 53, all right. 53, it's got the blue wire on it. something um, or see something that you've never seen before which is the case here now uh, this is not going to be fun at all all right so I've got doesn't seem like it's going down as far as it should
Before us is a 1953 300 from AC Gilbert, American Flyer. Um, this is a one owner engine. This is a repair for Leroy. And uh, a couple things that are fascinating to me about this particular engine. Um, number one, according to Doyle at least, it shouldn't exist. Uh, these were made in the second half of 52. Um, but the inside of the shell says 1953 is the stamp on it. It has a cutout in the top for the reverse unit. And um, the commutator wiring, or I should say the armature wiring, is purple. And the brush holder assembly on the back of the engine is marbled. Both of those things say 1953 Korean War shortage to me. So this is purchased new. Um, it's never been worked on before. And uh, so, yeah, I think, uh, so I thought this is kind of interesting that it shouldn't have existed, uh, at least according to Doyle, but it does. Um, so it's a fun little project to work on. Um, certainly have not worked on a 300 with a plastic shell before, so that's pretty fun. Um, the fact that uh, I'm the first person that's ever taken it apart is pretty fun. And uh, there's some things uh, about it, like I mentioned, that are interesting. There's also something about it that I really, really, really did not enjoy. And that is the engine mounts um, on the inside of the plastic shell are what you would expect with a plastic shell, except these have separately screwed in screws. And so it was nothing fun to put that back together, to get those, uh, get the little tab lined up correctly, get the screw back in the slot. Ugh, so frustrating. But uh, here we have a 300. Now, um, with the plastic shell, um, there are no traction tires on this thing. Um, so it, it would not be one engine that would have a lot of pulling capacity. Um, so I'm going to put a little... I'm going to put a car on it here just to give it something to, to pull and then we'll run it around the, the high line here and um, get some paces in for it. So another thing that I wanted to mention too is that the uh, side frame journal boxes on the tender um, are different colors. So there's uh, the front ones are probably a, a nickel or, or something's a little darker and the rear ones seem to be uh, just tin. Um, so a couple things about this engine that are really interesting. And like I said, it's a one owner. Um, Leroy's parents bought it for him, um, new from the factory and well, new from wherever they got it in uh, 1953. So uh, really interesting uh, what you find on uh, original flyer equipment um, makes me think you know first blush that someone has kind of done some work on this and pieced some things together but uh, that's not the case at all so it's a good runner as you'd expect with a 300 um, and uh, should should uh, have a lot of years left in it um, the brushes were really really great shape lots of lots of life left in those so um, it's uh, it's one of those kinds of engines that you can just run and run and run and uh, doesn't, doesn't seem to, to bother it much. So here we have the two engines for uh, Leroy that uh, I've repaired and 
a little bit more information that I think is fascinating. Um, he said that his parents got him this 300 new, um, and the booklet that came with it has a print date of 1957. So just all kinds of questions about, you know, uh, what happened with this engine. Um, Doyle, again, says these were made the second half of 52. Uh, the date on the inside of the shell says 53. has a marbled uh, brush bracket on the back of the motor. It's got blue windings um, in the armature. Um, so those, to me at least, suggest 53 along with the stamp in the engine. But then here we, here we have this book from 57 and uh, he claims it was brand new when he got it and there's no reason to doubt that i mean it is really a beautiful beautiful piece so anyhow um these are the two engines that are gonna head back to their owner today and uh they were fun to work on and certainly an adventure and uh, it's always fun to work on projects like this because i will get to learn new things and uh, learn some things about the silver flash didn't know certainly learn some things but still have some questions about the 300 so fun stuff all in all until next time thanks so much for tuning in today hope you enjoyed these repairs and hopefully they will spur you to keep on working and hopefully these uh this video will spur you to keep on uh repairing and working on your own engines to keep keep them operational until next time take care god bless and enjoy those american flyer trains